Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is based around something I kind of posted on the discord today. I had an idea for a server wide tournament that could really kind of bring people back to playing the game. Now, this might not, you know, necessarily be a thing until the future game backend server, the new server that SP is working on is probably finished because I don't want to put more stress on him for adding functionality to something he doesn't want to work on anymore. And I shouldn't even word it like that because it makes it sound like he gave up. He has not given up, trust me. But the idea was a visually modified client, uh, only certain cars available, maybe one or two new cars, uh, maybe have classes implemented, um, new max HP and torque values for each car, uh, CPU race tracking, team race tracking, online race tracking for cash, and online pink slip race tracking. And everything you do generates points for your account. The person with the most points at the end of the tournament, which could be maybe two weeks or a month long to give everybody a fair chance, they are the winner of the tournament. And, you know, it was a really cool idea I had in my head to maybe change it from 1320 challenge to 2560 challenge <laughs> that's right a game around quarter mile racing i brought half mile wow that was glitchy i brought half mile <laughs> let's go 7.439 in a tfd which sounds a tad crazy what are my audio levels look oh my god the tfd was so loud i apologize everybody um I didn't realize it. I'm sorry. But pay no attention to the AI's ET and RT. That is like preset in stone from the server. So it thinks it's going to run a quarter mile regardless. But as you can see, I should have been done with the race right about there. You lose. I ran a 7.2 at 343 miles per hour. Let's see what another car does. Uh, I hate the Viper, so I'm not worried about messing up this one's ratios. Do like 0.7. I don't. I have no idea what this thing should run quarter mile wise. It's a 6.4 second quarter mile car. So let's see what it is half mile. Oh, I'm in sixth. Way too soon. That was not enough. 10 second car. So it's kind of realistic. You know, it kind of scales really well. Do like 2.5. It scales pretty well. A nine second half mile is, you know, a tad unrealistic for a Dodge Viper, I think, in a standing half mile. But I don't know. I'd have to look and see what these things actually run in a half mile. It might actually be kind of accurate, to be real with you. Yeah, 10 second half mile. Not that bad. Uh, what's another car I'm willing to mess up? Or, you know, I can always just edit it back, I guess. Everybody has a Honda Civic in their garage. Just dump this down. To Ooh, I leaked my ratios. Oh, this isn't. See what the Honda Civic does in a half mile. I think this is a full rev car. This is a whole nother discussion. Oof. Terrible shifting. I am not in sixth too soon. You want to be in sixth at like the quarter mile. Is what feels about right. 13 second half mile at 184. This is fun. I think this is awesome. Doing half mile racing. Is the mile an hour scaling right? No. I don't think it actually is. Wait. Hit up the Viper again. This does like 2.0 something in the quarter. Oh, I'm out of nitrous. I'm so used to playing with my other client. I use for testing and stuff. Forgot what I based it on. No, mile an hour seems right.
230 and a quarter mile. That should be right, right? Let me look. Yeah, it's about right. I'm looking at something online here. It's saying a stock Dodge Viper of the same model year should do about 22nd half mile at 150. So modified, I guess maybe it's right. Now let's see. No, yeah, no, it sounds about right. I think it's scaling properly. Um, because this did what three hundred something. Seven point two at three hundred. We can always compare. But I th think this isn't a bad idea for a tournament. Yeah, 343. Let's compare. All right, we're going to compare. This is exactly the same except for ratios. The ratio should be the quarter mile ratios instead of the half mile. Here's what this thing does in the quarter, mile per hour wise. Ratios are ridiculous. Yeah, no, it's definitely scaling properly. Because if we hide this and we go do a half mile on this, this isn't even the fastest car in the game, technically. It'd be a lot of fun to run the NSC on the uh, half mile. I want to see a car break to 350 on a uh, half mile on this game. I think it's possible. Yeah, nah, it's scaling properly. Nah, that's totally awesome. So, what do you guys think? Half mile tournament? Or that's server wide? I think it would be fun to do a test run tournament that's just a basic tournament, see who's the fastest in the half mile, give everybody like 24 hours to, you know, set up one car for the half mile. And then, you know, everybody puts like, you know, one, two, or puts the number 12 on the side of their car, and we know that's their half mile car. But I'm also wondering if it's possible for me to add, like, an option to the main game client. And you could choose quarter mile or half mile, and it would change it accordingly. Because there's so many places that the race distance exists that I think it's possible to do it that way, but I'm not 100% sure. But we could hide it, like, you know, if you only want to do half mile racing, you could click a little radio button in here or something. Or do it on the send race option. I'll send one to Brett. This is a half mile race win. <laughs> All right. Send them to a race. We'll see. It should work online. Oh my god, I point five. Yep. Yep, there it is. This thing is consistent for a half mile car. Yeah, so you know, it could be fun. I think a half mile tournament is a good idea, especially because it brings something new to the table. But I, I really think it might be possible to do something at, like, this screen. You know, quarter or half. And then when you receive a race, you would see that it says, you know, quarter or half someplace. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think maybe we'll just keep it a separate client. But, you know, it's always fun messing with things and seeing what we can do. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.